Why did you forsake us? Come on! <laughs> We are sheep taken to the slaughterhouse. Keep going, don't stop. Come on. Father, father. The prophet announced this, but we didn't heed. And where is he now, the prophet? Where is he hiding? He's in Rama, that's where the Chaldeans deported him. The Lord says, the sons of Israel lost their faith. It disappeared from their mouths. So a people will come from the north. They are cruel and they won't have mercy. They'll come on horseback and their voices will thunder like the sea. In Jerusalem, voices of joy and cheerfulness will cease because the earth will be desolated. You'll be driven out to a foreign country where you'll be servants of foreign gods night and day and your masters won't give you rest. This is the end of the nation. We destroyed the pride of Israel, Jerusalem. The city of David is in flames finally, and I will destroy the rest, stone upon stone, just as Nebuchadnezzar, the invincible king, ordered me. Come over here! Come on! Let's destroy this cursed city, huh? <laughs> Come on! Let's pull everything down! Help me! Hurry up! Take something precious! Let's suck the temple! Yeah! Yeah! Over here! Hey, you! Help me! Help me! We're here! Hey, you! Hurry up! <laughs> Everything is golden in here. Look at it. It's wonderful. <laughs> huh? The treasure of Solomon, it's our most precious loot. We can set on fire everything that's left. <laughs> With this loot, Nebuchadnezzar will become the richest king in the world. May Merodach and all the gods of the country protect him. Jeremiah foretold this and it happened. Jehovah tired of the sins of his people and delivered them to their enemies. You look as if you were enjoying watching the downfall of Israel, the worst disaster ever. No, I'm weeping over the burning Jerusalem and I'm waiting for Jehovah's mercy. When Israel has expiated its betrayal, its sins which today are as red as purple will become as white as wool and the people who are walking in darkness today will see a great light. Hurry, everything's burning. Oh, let's go. We have to save them. They're the sacred writings about our people's traditions. Hurry, hurry. Look out, Father. Hurry. Oh, my God. It's all coming down. Huh? 
Ah, they burn. Let's go, hurry up. It burns. There won't remain anything in a while. Don't leave me. Go away. Go save the sacred writings in the name of Jehovah. Ezekiel, my time has come. Oh, Father. Jeremiah, their prophet, we deported him here. The king doesn't want him to be killed. <laughs> You've executed your king's sacrilegious orders? The people have been deported. Jerusalem will be leveled to the ground. And the temple? It no longer exists. The temple destroyed. <laughs> oh. What you had predicted has come true, all of it. But they didn't listen to you. But King Nebuchadnezzar doesn't want you to die. You may go wherever you want. Remove the prophet's chains. Out. Where will you go now, Jeremiah? I'm going to look for my people, the people of Jehovah. Didn't you hear me? That people has been destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. He has also destroyed their temple and their cities. A governor has been appointed to replace their king. When the days of the punishment end, the people of Jehovah will return to their reconstructed temple. They will continue their walk. I can already see it. On the day when your bones and those of your king have been eaten by worms in 70 years, soldier. You are an old man, prophet. Just a very old man. You're right, sir. He's just a crazy man. No, he's not crazy. He's a prophet of his god. Slaves, move on! Move on! Brothers, I found you finally! The son of Bootsy! The son of Bootsy! Thank you! 
don't drink it all, gently. That's Ezekiel, I'm so glad to see him again. Ezekiel, is that really your voice? People of Jerusalem, I'm back with you again. Uh-huh. No, it's Jehovah's voice. I kept quiet for too long in Jerusalem. Open your sack, old man. Where do we have to go now? To the Jewish district. There you'll find the Hebrews who had been displaced before you. Hey, open your mouth. Ah, are you heedless, old man? Ah. Uh. Have you got gold or silver, perhaps? I don't have anything at all, my friend. Ah. Uh... He doesn't have anything. Huh? If he's only got that papyrus, then his sack's worthless. Nah. Hello there. Here we are, my brothers. There, you see? They were waiting for us. Thank you, brother. You must be Jacob the scribe. You are, aren't you? I saw you and recognized you, even if you look older. I don't remember who you are. How come you know me? I knew you in Jerusalem when you used to write in the temple. You're the one who taught me all I know. You used to call me Edzi. You taught me how to write on wax tablets. Don't you remember? You were my very first teacher, Jacob. Ezekiel, of course. Blessed be Jehovah's name. You were a little boy. It's been many years. I'm blind, but I see you. You're Ezekiel, the prophet, my son. I'm always thankful to you, Master. What can I do for you, Ezekiel? Please tell me where I can find your sons, the scribes. That is all I need. Take this road. There's an alley to the right. At the end, there's a door. They work there. Thank you. Come inside, please. What do you want? You're Kuzai, the son of Jacob, right? That's me, but who are you, young man? It doesn't matter. Take a look first at what's in this sack from Jerusalem. Mm. Jehovah's Word. Where did you get those precious papyrus? Ooh, look, Ooh. look, beautiful. Hey. While Chaldean soldiers set the temple on fire, Jehovah's hand saved them so his people won't forget their history. I see, but who are you? I'm Edzi, don't you remember me? Ezekiel the prophet, may Jehovah bless you. Brother, 
<gasps> Jehovah's Word. Jehovah's Word? Jehovah's Word! The Lord has forgotten us because of our sins. The sins have been committed by the kings in Jerusalem and the priests of the temple. Those who didn't trust in Jehovah but plotted with the Egyptians and everyone else, including the king of the Chaldeans, who beat them and then burned Jerusalem. Do you know the reason why we are here now, dear boy? Do you know? Of course I know. I know it for sure. Do you really know? Then tell me, my son! After the days of sin and fire, the new Jerusalem must be born here and now. This is not my voice, but the Lord speaking through me. The Lord spoke to us. Listen to no, his voice. Please, 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 Plant gardens and eat of their fruits, so you can live without asking for alms. Put sons and daughters into the world and obey the law of Moses. and what else? After the days of darkness, the days of light. Here in Babylon, our exile will end, and finally a new Jerusalem will rise up. Look at my clothes, man. First red flats, are you looking for nice materials? Of this flax, I'd buy three rolls. Please come in, sir. Come in. See how beautiful our jewels are. How much do you want for this necklace? I can give it to you for much less than it's worth, sir. I will pay any price. No, you'll only have to pay the fair price. I never saw such beautiful works. Where did you learn to work gold so well, Goldsmith? In Jerusalem, sir, together with my children. I was one of the temple jewelers. I work and divide the profits with my children and the Jews. Kneel before the master of the world. I say, kneel before the master of the world. Kneel before the master of the world. Ah, oh, what about you? Do you also want a sheep? I still have some beautiful ones. I've brought them for your Passover, and I've almost sold them all. I want the smallest one, please. Oh, you really know how to buy, woman. This is the smallest, but it's also the most tender. Thank you. This is our Passover. The vigil of the children of Israel, which continues from generation to generation, waiting for the angel of salvation. Then, after the darkness of exile and the slavery of Egypt, Jehovah killed the firstborn of their jailers and saved his people's homes. And today, he still saves those who worship him and are waiting for his salvation. The Israelis lived in Egypt for 430 years. Our exile will end before that. When the exile is over, we'll go out of this country, and after a long night, we'll see the light of new days. Blessed be Jehovah's name.
It's consoling to remember and honor the Passover. We mustn't forget we're repenting for our sins against the Lord, but our punishment will end. It is not eternal. punishment will end, Israelis will go back home. Darkness will be defeated and the light will return. In Jerusalem, the love of our people will fill all places. Let's eat. So the people of Israel remained enslaved in Babylon for 70 years. They regretted having offended their own God and went back to respect the law according to the covenant made with God Almighty. The displaced during their long imprisonment took care of recopying and handing down the texts of their people's sacred traditions, and they rewrote what they had memorized of those which were destroyed.